हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू विस्टम एर आईन क्लासेस मै डिर्स वी हेव स्टडी हाउ एनिम प्रोटेक्ट दम सेल्फ वेन दे हेव काट इट फ्रम देर एनिमी इन आर प्रीवियस् क्लास एंड नाउ वी शेल स्टडी वट आर दिंग्स दट एनिम हेव अडाप्टेड दम सेल्फ टू ग्रो इन द डिफरेंट हेबिटेट दट इज हेबिटेट अर्थ इज द ओनली प्लानेट इन सोलार सिस्टम वेर लाइफ एक्सिस्ट different animals live in different surroundings called habitat habitat is a place where living things lives or grows naturally it is a natural home of an animal animal habitat is the place where an animal lives naturally my dears after studying this we generalize we can generalize what is habitat that is habitat is a place where living things lives or grows naturally or it is also known as a natural home of an animal habitat is also known as natural home of an animal next my dears what is habitat is it is a place habitat is a place where living things live where living things lives naturally or grows naturally where we are also human beings we live in our homes we live we grow in our homes that is what animals grow naturally on the basis of habitat animals are of five types they are terrestrial aquatic amphibians aerial and arboreal what are all the five types my dears pronounce with me terrestrial aquatic amphibians aerial and arboreal now we shall just study one by one very briefly so that first one is terrestrial animals animals that live on land or below the surface of a ground are called as terrestrial animals for example elephant tigers lions rabbits etc my dears we already know that what are terrestrial plants in our previous class that is we have studied terrestrial plants uh, in our second chapter what is that second chapter is adaptations in plants for themselves in that lesson we have studied terrestrial terrestrial means plants which grow on land here terrestrial animals means animals which live on the land they are like elephant tiger lion rabbits etc below they even have four legs to run fast jump catch their prey and to protect themselves from the enemies what are all the things they have adapted for themselves to grow on terrestrial things are like they have four legs to run fast catch their prey or to protect themselves from the enemies they have well developed nervous system and sense organs to feel the change in the surroundings where they are having four legs to run fast they have got four legs they can run they can jump they can catch their prey if in case they are hungry or if other animals are attacking on them they themselves can protect from their enemies they are also having well developed nerve system and sense organs to feel the change in the surroundings my dears what are all the sense organs just glance it over yes they are like eyes nose tongue skin and ear they are these are the sense organs which is present in all the living organisms why the sense organ is present in living organisms yes it is because with the help of these sense organs the animals can feel the change in the surroundings hence they have adopted by sense organs the next type of animals are desert animals animals like camels snake desert rats adapt themselves to grow in these conditions what are all the conditions just look it over think and 
less hairy skin so that it does not lose much water thick and less hairy skin which do not get rid of more water humps on its back to store food padded feet to walk easily in the sand padded feet means you are observing the feet they are like pad so that they, it helps them to move easily in the sand and the next thing is hump on its back to store food my dears as we are studying the animals regarding the desert areas where desert is a place where it is not having more amount of water so that whenever these type of animals get water they drink sufficient amount of water and the rest of the water what they ha- what they do is they store on the hump they store in the hump on its back so that whenever it is necessary for that animal to drink it will take it back and it will drink the water the next thing is thick and less hairy skin so that it does not lose much water from the body of animal as it is desert places it is storing the water in its hump if all the water stored if it is drains away from the skin or hairs how can that animal survive yes what they have done is they have less hairy skin the next thing is polar regions in polar regions weather is extremely cold so animals like yak and polar bear are furry and thick skin to keep them warm what are the adaptations that are made in the animals which are living in the polar regions are they are having furry furry means wool furry and thick skin to keep them warm why they should keep them warm is because that polar places are the regions which are extremely cold next thing is hibernation some land animals like frogs lizards snakes cannot bear cold weather during summer they eat a lot of food during winter they become inactive and go under the ground this is called winter sleep or hibernation after studying this my dears we will just glance over a person or a person is coming in front of us this kumbhakarna what he used to do is he used to get up wake up at 6 months and he used to sleep for 6 months whenever he is ala get up or wake up he used to eat huge amount of food and he used to sleep off the rest 6 months here the animals are of same like frogs lizards snakes they eat whenever they are alive whenever winter is coming they just sleep off the next animal is aquatic animal animal that lives in water are called aquatic animals fish snake tortoise and crabs are aquatic animals fishes have fins for swimming in water they have gills to breathe in water what are the adaptations that are made in aquatic animals is only two they have fish fins for swimming and gills for breathing the next type of animal is amphibians amphibians are the animals that can live both land on land and in water frog tor salamander etc or amphibians where these type of animals they can live in the water or else they if they it is necessary to live on the land they live on the land also amphibians have lungs to breathe and land on land while in water they breathe through their moist skin as they are living in both land and water they should breathe both the side so whenever they are present on the land they breathe through their lungs while they are in the water they breathe through their moist skin they have legs which help them to move on the land and webbed feet to swim in the water what are all the things they have they are having is they have legs whenever they are present on the water 
land they walk with the help of these legs but whenever they are in the water they are having webbed feet which helps them to swim the next type of category is aerial animals the animals which can fly are called aerial animals their four limbs are modified as wings to help them fly they have feathers to keep them warm and dur- help during flight they have hollow bones to make their body light they are having where they are also four legged animals but two of their leg are modified into wings four limbs means front legs are modified into limbs sorry my dears their four limbs are modified into wings which help them to fly and they have with feathers to keep them warm and also these feathers help them to fly during they are flying and the next thing is they are having hollow bones hollow bones are nothing but a structures which are example of pipe which help them to fly easily the last category is arboreal animals some animals like monkey squirrel chimpanzees spend most of their time on the trees they have strong and short chests to provide support while climbing they have fingers and thumbs to grasp and hold the things where you are observing in the picture that a squirrel is holding something in the hand so that they are having fingers and thumbs which help them to grasp and hold the things they have strong chests to provide support while climbing has these are the plants which live most of their time on the trees where it is very essential for them to have very strong chest which help them for climbing which help them for climbing yes my dears i hope you have got little information regarding what are all the type of adaptations that are made in the plants for living in the habitat where they are categorized into five main categories like terrestrial animals aquatic animals amphibians aerial animals and arboreal animals i hope you have got all the information and thank you